So today I um, did this look, which is um, supposed to be a Korean student makeup. So it's Korean inspired um, with the soft gradient lips and the light and highlighted skin, as you can see. Uh, it's really soft and natural, so it's perfect for school or um, just days where you want to look polished and clean, but not too overdone. I attempted to do the egg yourself. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you before the video starts that I am obviously not Korean um, and I'm not trying to look Korean or something like that. I just really like the Korean makeup trends uh, and so I created this look for you. Of course, it's perfect for back to school and everything like that. So, I hope you enjoy it. For the base, I've already applied the um, makeup. I first used the Domino Moly Pocket Bunny, and then I mixed the Mac Studio Fix Fluid in and the 10 and the Benefit High Beam, and I just applied it with a brush like this. I think it is important that you only set the parts of your face that really need the powder. So for me, I don't have to go um, over my cheeks with powder because they don't get oily throughout the day anyway. Uh, so I always just do the T-zone and on the chin. Um, I will continue the face later on. I will first do the eyes and for that I will zoom in a little bit. First I want to prime and for that I'm using the uh, color tattoo in cream new and you can just apply it with your fingers. As the first color, so the overall lid color, I'm using this slightly pinkish shade and this is from the Essence All About Candies palette. It's really hard to see. There it is. And I forgot to do my brows. So I will do that now. Now for the brows, you want to do it slightly more straight. Uh, of course some people like me, I can't do the full on straight brow because that's just not how my brows look and if I then just draw them full on straight it looks really unnatural so I just straighten them out a little bit if you know what I mean. Definition on the eyes. I'm using a tiny bit of this dark brown eyeshadow, but of course you don't want it too dark, especially if it's for school. Well, I never wanted it too dark if it's for school. You can do whatever you want. Now 
for the eyeliner, I'm going really natural, of course, um, because you want to achieve those clean eyes, but without eyeliner, I don't know, the eyeliner is just to define the eye a little bit more, it's like not a crazy cat eye, but just a little bit of more definition around um, the lashes. As you can see, the eyeliner is barely visible. Um, I just did a really thin line on the top lashes and on the out I just ever so slightly drew it downward because you know, we're not going for the cat eye, but we're going for that slight droopy eye. Next is something that is just part of Korean inspired makeup for me and that is the egg yourself. But I, I don't have Asian eyes, as you can probably tell. Um, so if I do the full-on egg yourself, it looks really weird, but I just to just attempt to do it. First, for the lashes, I'm using an eyelash primer. And you don't want to apply too much because you are not going for that clumpy, weird lashes look. This was cool. You should never go for that look, but just in case. While the mascara base is drying, I will uh, apply the Maybelline Line Refine Express Kajar in white. Interesting. For my mascara, I will be using the Benefit Roller Lash. And I'm just applying a couple coats, not too much, just for the lashes to look a little bit longer and dark. That's fine. So now I will continue with the rest of my face makeup. And first I will contour my nose because I always do that. No matter if it was for school or not, I just always did that. I like I think you can contour for school, of course. Uh, but it should be a really natural contour, so more like shading. Not full on, of, like it always depends on what you want. Of course, you can go for that full on contour and whatever for school, but I just think um, light makeup and more like shading is a little bit more suitable. And just like that, oh no, it looks a little bit better. <laughs> for my face. <clears throat> Hi, you're in focus again. For my face, I will be using the NYX Pro Contour Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. That's how it's called. And I will also use the Zoeva 101 Lux Face Definer. And again, I'm not really contouring, it's more like shading. So the face looks a little bit smaller and more defined, but it's not that full on contour. For me, I can do more, but I won't. Next is highlighter, and I will again use the Benefit High Beam, and yes, just on the cheeks.
And the last thing I will do is, of course, lip. I can't really decide what I want to go for. Because one thing I really like to mix is the Laneige lipstick in the color YR27 and the Ichita's Fresh Cherry Tint in OR201. But on the other hand, for gradient lips, like the dark on the inside and the kind of ombre lip, um, I really like the L'Oreal Paris thing. I don't, it doesn't have a real name, but it's in the color 002 version. And then a little bit of concealer on the outside. I will go for the Laneige lipstick. Just blend it out messily. And then I go in with my concealer. And then on top of that I use the Etude House Fresh Cherry Tint. was my Korea inspired makeup or daily Korean student makeup as I will probably call it. Um, yeah, it's just inspired by some Korean trends like clean eyes, the trying to straight eyebrows and soft gradient lips and also the light skin and the highlighter and all that. It's a really natural look, it's really appropriate for school or just a casual day and yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, all the products are in the down bar below. If you want to see anything or whatever, just leave it in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you did. And bye!